Hello people, this is Peppermore Wave, and today I figure it was about time I covered on the channel gold. So, what we're going to do. So, what we're going to do is obviously just take a look at it using the other way theory, and uh, there's going to be a recurring type of video. So, I'm going to be covering gold uh, on a weekly basis. Um, every So, once a week, probably, maybe twice a week. We'll see. It depends on um, how you guys like it. So, if you do want me to cover it, just let me know that in the comments. As well as usual, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Um, if you want to, you know, talk about other ways, share your ideas, so on and so forth, there's a Discord. It's completely free, and the link is down below. Uh, speaking of, uh, be aware of scammers in the Discords. Uh, I usually spot them within 24 hours. Um, if I will never write to you talking about trading, investments, um, offering opportunities, um, it will not be me. Now. That being said, um, so the problem with gold, gold is gold has been around for o over a thousand years. Can we get that type of historical data? We technically could. Uh, is it easy? No. Am I going to try it? Absolutely no. So what we're going to do is we're going to assume this is some sort of wave you know, one or two of some degree. The largest degree possible. Why? Because this was the largest correction we've ever had in modern times. So what does it mean? It means that uh, we, we could expect upside. And uh, not only that, that upside, uh, note we are on a monthly time frame. That upside, you know, um, as long as we don't get such a significant retracement, again, I'm going to assume Everything that comes that, that came after it, which is as you can see here, the end of uh, 1999, is this super cycle wave three. That's what we're going to go with. Um, to some degree, it, it, it makes sense, L wave wise, to do so. Um, because, as usual, correction of the same degree will tend towards quality. Now, what is the second largest correction we've ever had after this, you know, 80 to 99, so almost a 20 year long correction? happen this one what year was that uh, you know 2011 2016 um this is uh not sure what it was due uh during those times you know starting 2011 all the way up till at least 2014 you had the consumer debt um sorry the the bank debt uh, crisis in um, in europe which did not affect the U.S., but it was mainly a, a European um, issues. Um, and uh, after that, we recovered. Now, that is going to be our wave one and two of cycle degree. What does it mean? It means that this one and two is one degree less than this one because it is a smaller correction. Now, now, let's work this together. So. There's two scenarios I see possible. Number one is, as you can see here, we are within primary one of cycle three. So one, two, headed for a wave five of one, pullback, upside, within this wave three, orange three, cycle three, of super cycle three. That's one way to look at it. Another way to look at it is, okay, another way to look at it is, okay, we could be in some sort of a, you know, maybe an extended fifth within wave three. Possible. Uh, I guess the other way to look at it, which I kind of don't like, is one, two, three, four, five. But it looks like. A joke. Look at you know, if you know again, size uh, correction of the same degree will tend towards equality in, si in time or magnitude. Does that look equal in terms of magnitude? It, 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 uh, it doesn't really, <laughs> unless you you have some problem with your with your eyes. Uh, it shouldn't look equal. Now, that being said, I'm gonna go with this one as my preferred count. 
uh, the similarities with the other one. So where we are in, uh, I guess I should just leave it. Maybe some sort of something like this. Possibly we can investigate it. Um, and this would be primary, correct? Okay, so let me call it alt from 2015. They're pretty much the same, right? Uh, upside, upside, upside. Now, as you can see, if we take a look at measurements, many times wave three is as long as wave one, at least. That's $8,000 an ounce. Could that happen? Yes. Will it happen? It's possible sometime, maybe in, you know, 20 years from now, 15 years from now, possible. And 1.618 stands at 28,000. Is that possible? Yes. Will it happen? Maybe. Um, I might be dead by the time that happens. Uh, knocking on wood. But um, yeah, that's possible. Remember, as I always say, let's, you know, let's, what? Let's get here, right? $35 an ounce. You measure this, you look for Pug 618, you know, you are at, uh, what, right here, you're at $255 an ounce. Pug 618 is what? 1800 right? Could you have ever imagined we would have gotten uh, 1800 Yes, you could have said, oh, it's possible. Is it going to happen? I don't know. It seems so so far away, so absurd. Well, yeah, yeah it happened. Um, so that's that's the market. Um, as I always say, with these type of markets, especially the stock market, it, it it's their nature. Um, now, um, I actually have a few good interesting stories about that. You know, people being so bearish a few months ago. If you go look at back my videos, especially on the Nasdaq, um, and look at where we are. <sighs> anyways, anyways, let's focus on the shorter term and let's work account together. That's what I'm here for. Uh, okay, so Okay, oh no wait Wait a minute what just happened Is that it yeah, okay, okay, sorry. I'll confuse for a second. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five for primary one. Now, um, it looks what it doesn't look right about this count is. Oh, by the way, could we squeeze a wave one in here? Let's see. I uh, we technically could. Uh, we could squeeze it. Let me show you. One, two, three, four, five, four. And that actually makes sense, right? Uh, because wave one many times and this is pretty much textbook wave one where the previous top was pull back upside and the angle of ascent so the angle the slope of this move up it's actually pretty aggressive right um, and that could be a sign of a wave three to be honest so I guess this um, I think we might use the, that one let me show you the sub count for that. So I'm create another folder and call it um, primary one completed. Okay, great. Okay, so one, two, sideways, sharp four. Nice, right? Alternation. Uh, they tend towards equality in magnitude. Let me show you. Let me zoom in first and let me show you. So let's measure wave two. Compare it to four, boom. Look at how close we were to equality. Look at that. We missed it by 1%. Crazy, right? Um, that's power of relationships and ways, right? Correction on the same, I'll, I'll say to believe in correction on the same degree will tend towards equality in time or magnitude. Um, I prefer to look for time. Now, sorry for magnitude. Now, one, two, and that's when the game gets tough. So awesome. So one, two, infinity and beyond. Now, 
first of all, let's do the same thing we did before. Look for equality of prime, oh, sorry, intermediate, sorry, sorry, it's, it's, it's a Sunday, it's hot, it's really hot, sorry, it's 30 degree plus uh, Celsius. Um, so, here, in a uh, primary free, equality stands at uh, a bit over $3,000. Is that reachable? Absolutely. Easy target. Um, I've said it tomorrow, we crash 20%. Now, um, let's get to the daily. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now, I say now too much, don't I? This you could count it as one, two, um, I'm gonna say th one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put it there. Okay, there you go. Now, the problem I have is with this move up. Why, you may ask? So I previously had it as a one, two, one, two, one, two. Why? So let me show you. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, three, four, to figure it out where. Give me a minute. That's how I had it before I deleted every, everything. There you go. Okay. Now, you may ask, Barrett, how come you don't put this wave one here? And I'll say, look, this is three. Three waves a trend don't make. Period. Okay. Could it be one A B C? I mean, it, it, it's a bit too much. I I remember. I, I mean, obviously this appears to be news driven, right? So if you go on, but that's shame because if you if you use a line chart, you gotta use it um, uh, for for the whole um, counting you make, right? So if we use the line chart, then uh, you could squeeze a wave two here, couldn't it? Couldn't you? One, two, it looks nicer. One, two, three, four, five, three, four, up for five, right? Yeah, that, that's when you actually respond right. Um, God, I'm getting old. Anyways, so could we count as a one, two? What do you guys say? Let me know in the comments if you, if you made it this far. What do you guys think? Um, I don't know. I guess we could. You know what? I'll just do it. One, two. So this is one degree higher. One, two. A, B, C, D, and E. Yeah, because lo this looks like three wave. This one right here. This looks like three. So let me just label it. A nice triangle there. One, two, three, four. And uh, at this point, you can say, oh, Barry, could could this have been? Could have been a wave four. <sighs> The problem would be this is one degree higher than this, but it looks smaller. That would be the problem. So I guess there's a case for it's okay. Let's um, primary five completed. Let's do this, guys. Otherwise, so I can show you all the alternates. Okay, so this is uh, from 2023 lows. Okay, so that's one way to look at it. Right? 
another way to look at it, it's very similar. One, two, three, four, five. We said three, four, five, right? One, two, three, four, to infinity and beyond. There you go. Uh, this would be no, it's correct. Okay, same thing. But this time, oh, that's what I wanted to do. But this time, so let me create a folder. This time around, you have what do you have? One, two, infinity and beyond. Right? I guess that's a good way to look at it, isn't it? Let's take a look at volume. Right? Because we 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 we're finding we previously found support, sorry, resistance on top of six point one eight of what? Of the comparison between this move and potential um wait three of this degree. So this point right here means that is six one point eight percent the length of this primary wave one. That's what it means. So now we, we break, broke through it. And not only that, look at look at the number, 2,500. If you've been following me, you know how much I care and I stress about numbers. And every time that I do, I then actually prove you that I'm right. It doesn't mean I'm right about, you know, where it's gonna go. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. I'm right about the importance of numbers. We found clear support on top of 2,500. We take off at least towards um, 2,800. So that's the way I'm going to count it. Uh, call me crazy. Let's look at volume here on this CFD. So there's always a problem. We should look at CFD um, features, uh, but that's also a problem. Okay, so as you can see, now that we approached 25, you see how volume is increasing, even though price isn't going anywhere. You see how volume increases. Why? It's a large number. It will attract large orders. That's that's why I stress about it. That's why I do it. I want to see for five. <sighs> Looks like we could extend higher. To be fair, I would look for upside. Uh, but this long longer term count was needed. Obviously, this is a triangle A B C A B C D E. But yeah, that's the way I look at it. Um, could I be right? Yes. Can I be wrong? <laughs> Possibly. Most likely. I don't know. Uh, but uh, this looks like an educated guess to me. And uh, where's let's measure intermediate weight three. Where's equality? Oh, we passed equality. Okay, so e sorry, no. Um, equality of minor three. Okay, so it makes sense to do this then. Twenty seven hundred. Let's look at twenty seven hundred. Four minor three, four five, and then upside here. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. What, what am I saying? I apologize. Um, so the fact. One plus one eight. Um. Intermediate three against intermediate one, this one, stands at 2700. Makes me wonder if this could be our count, right? Because we top, we could top right here, around 2800. As, yeah, that makes it actually, we might stick to this. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, there's pros and cons for both. So I guess um, I think I, I've talked for about 20 minutes. So it's on to you guys. Let me know down in the comments what you think. And if you want me to cover uh, cover gold um, weekly on the channel. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy the content and you want to want to see more as well as if you leave a like, I do really appreciate it. Thanks. I'll see you in the next one.